commitment to community is at the core of our mission. By providing vulnerable populations with vital resources, we are making our communities healthier one person at a time. And while all of our partnerships are critical, none are more important than our relationships with our network of federally qualified health centers. As Sutter Health boldly moves towards expanding access to care for our patient population, we must continue to advance our community-based strategy, which enables FQHCs to not only expand their physical capacity, but their programmatic capacity as well. FQHCs provide primary care, preventative care, wraparound services. They help connect folks after acute care episodes, and they're key community partners. When we do our job and then the hospital does what it's best at, ultimately the system is a better place and we save the system money. Caring for our community is an all hands on deck uh, requirement. And that's why it's uh, really important that we establish and maintain close partnerships with FQHCs to take care of the patients, the people in the communities that we serve. We don't want people going to the emergency room when it's too late. We want to be able to do more prevention and keep them out of the hospital, keep them out of the ER. And I think that's where the key in the collaboration comes in because any one system or organization can't do that. In California, one in three will be on Medi-Cal and there will be additional folks as there are continued changes in the Medi-Cal reimbursement system. We're having conversations about as a leadership team is really needing to rethink the overall relationship to the FQHCs. In 2022 alone, through community benefit investments, Sutter Health helped open four new FQHC sites launched multiple mobile medicine and navigation programs, and linked nearly 450,000 people to primary, specialty, and mental health services. Through the investments made by Sutter Health, the facilities and resources that FQHCs can provide now rival the best facilities that any person can access for healthcare. That enables us to ensure that there is true health equity. One of the things we're so grateful to Sutter for is the investment that they made in our electronic health record. La Clinica moms who get all of their prenatal care in their clinics and then come to Altabate Summit Medical Center for their deliveries, we have all of that information. We're moving towards Epic right now with the go live date of next year. Sutter's donated a big chunk of change to make that happen. And the idea is that's the continuity of care. We're then able to step in when more specialized care is needed because the FQHC clinics can't hire the individual cardiologist or surgeon. Sutter has an incredible pediatric neurology department that is nested within a health system that is built for commercially insured persons. What we've figured out is a way to balance the needs of both organizations to allow pediatric neurologists to see kids in the Medicaid program. Often small community organizations are trying to convince funding agencies that we have a just cause, and that hasn't been the case with Sutter. I feel like they really believe in this partnership. They didn't come out with an agenda, hey, this is what we need you to do. They ask questions about what we need, how that would help us. They ask questions that I think are germane in terms of building the capacity of our organization. I think at some point we're gonna to have to re-envision the community now that we've built so much. Now we can have some really interesting times strategizing. There's going to be a need for really strong leadership because we're going to change how health is delivered. If Sutter doesn't continue to do miraculous things in the community, not only will we continue to have a level of fragmented care, but also we'll continue to see healthcare costs rise. Working through and partnering with our FQHCs, I believe will lead to better outcomes, better quality care, um, and, and frankly, healthier communities. As we look to the future of partnership and reimagine our relationship with the Medi-Cal population, we must continue to lead with our innovative and strategic investments to improve health outcomes, overall affordability, and access to care for all. <laughs>